We want to thank you for coming to this first preview of Willa's baby, because mm? it isn't easy. Please don't tell me it's over already. Please show me some bits. <laughs> I assume it's total trash. Remember, a lot of the lines you heard were placeholders, correct? I, I had a virus, so, <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, super spreader event right here. Hey. Hey. Who's that? Mm? Oh, I don't know. Is that him? Him who? Him who? Oh, look at you. Dude. What? Are you sweating? No. Why is she even acting like that? I thought they have agreed on an open relationship, so why is it still so awkward? My father has always been my greatest champion and my hero. Congratulations on 50 years at the top of the biz. I love you, Dad. Nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You Sounds wanna try one more? nice fake. Why? I didn't know if, if you, you wanted one more. If it was perfect, why would I want one more? Maybe you could try a different angle this time. Maybe let's try... Try it like you actually mean it. Hmm? Let's go with it. Just for one take. What up, Pricklicks? It's me, Dr. Moron! Yes, that's... that's what I meant. Perfect. <laughs> what do you reckon, Rome? Dad boning Rhea? Can't wrap my head around that. Too steamy. We should all talk about what this means for us. And by us, you mean you. Just fuck off. All wedged up because Rhea stood on your back and worked your arms like an elliptical? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I wonder if we should have a plan. Plan? You can't even do anything. <laughs> You're still not part of the company. You've always been my superhero, Dad. I know we don't get to spend as much time together one-on-one -on -one as we'd like. And that makes me sad. I super love you, Super Dad. Maybe try one take without all the supers, hmm? I think Rhea is dangerous, and I think we need to stop her. Well, it, it's clear you need to stop her. What if she sells the company for parts? <laughs> we need to put feelings aside and call a family truce. Because we need oh, yeah, to fuck sure. her from a hundred different directions at a thousand miles an hour. <sighs> I'm tired of this shit, honestly. This woman doesn't deserve anything. And by this woman, I mean Shiv. A former cruise employee. James Weissel in accounting. So quite inside the payments and so on. It seems like he might be about to talk. Give him the storm warning. Get rat fucker Sam to give him the talk. <laughs> Rhea really took the reins on this weekend planning, huh? She's been very active. Must be tough for you, though. I don't know how he can be when he has no enthusiasm. Dude, this is unbearable at this point. This woman. Tell us a story, though, from back in the day. You want a bit about uh, Rosebud? It's a dollar bill. It's whatever it took to get me the fuck out of here. Great story. Good story, Dad. <laughs> Should we get married? Huh? What? You know, not that, like uh, an equivalent of uh, the thing, like I abduct you and force you to live with me. That's not equivalent. Well, then you kill me, you chop my dick off, you know? You eat me, I eat you, like they do in Germany. Anyway, a lot to think about. <laughs> you want to come to Dundee? What about my play? The play? Uh, I mean, it's like two nights off. Where is Dundee? How about you look it up on your phone on the way to the airfield because I'm sending you a driver and I'm getting you a jet ride over here tonight. What the hell is he doing? Last episode it was Naomi, now it's this woman? Are you regularly tested for sexually transmitted diseases? Excuse me? <laughs> he and I still sleep together. I don't know who else you're screwing. I'm sensing some turbulence. Strong French feelings. I'm worried I might get blinded with a baguette. <laughs> You could toast his mother, Helen, or maybe mention Rose. Let's raise our glasses to those who are with us tonight in absentia. Logan's mother, Helen, and his sister, Rose. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Oh, my God. The play. Yeah, I'm sorry that we, uh, we didn't. No, it's just costing a pretty penny and a few financial worries starting to bubble. Be good to chat. Yeah, don't worry, son. I'm sure you're working out. <laughs> I feel like it's weirder with one protester. Like, you don't know whether to make eye contact or... Well... 
<laughs> What's he doing? Okay. Keep driving. There it is. Maybe a photo. They've said you can go in. <laughs> no. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> I have an update. Oh, yeah? James Weissel. There's a call and we might like your input. So we made the threat offer to Mr. Weaselman, but he said no. Why would he say no to Denmark? No? I don't know. Playing hardball. Why are you even telling her? Huh? What does Sif have to do with that? The Logan Roy School of Journalism. What's next? The Jack the Ripper Women's Health Clinic? <laughs> He's morally bankrupt. He's a nothing man who may well be more personally responsible for the death of this planet than any other single human being. Oh, come on. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop working for him. If that you would... refuse, I think it's well within my rights to remove your name from amongst the beneficiaries of my last will and testament. That's quite a pretty penny. Around <laughs> 250 mil. That is quite a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> not wanting to put a damper on Rhea's celebrations or anything, but it's time we killed her dead. We just tell him, all of us, we won't have it. Should I maybe take the So floor? what? Okay. Would Rhea really be the worst thing in the world? No, of course not. Also, you don't even have any say in this. Neither does Shiv. I'm starting to like her. He likes her. Yeah, this is why you don't hatch a plan with Connor the first fucking pancake. Okay, thank you. You're a brat. You know, none of you have been through what I've been through, so just... Oh, my mommy got sent to the booby hatch, and now I'm sad. Fuck just... off. I think you've been too emotional about this whole thing. Oh, too, uh, my fucking god. Are you doing the emotional you. card on me? You're emotional all season long, you fucking bitch! God! Maybe there is a world in which Rhea makes more sense for me. The woman who you barely know makes more sense to you than your wife. Oh, come on. Yeah, because he knows you. <laughs> I won't give up. He made me a fucking offer, and I'm going to redeem that coupon. So we got uh, the Lord Provost. Uh, this entire Schiff wants to be CEO storyline. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Jesus, Christ. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be a, you know, a steak and a chat. Rhea thought it would be nice. Oh. Well, in that case, I guess I have to go in. <laughs> Everything okay? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Word got around that I'm over here and people from the play are super pissed. <laughs> Rightfully so. I mean, what the fuck? You want to be a professional actor? We've got this opportunity for you to become involved financially in Willis play, which I don't know mm. if you've been hearing, but the buzz is excellent, <laughs> you know? Mm. So I'd really like to talk to you about that if I could. Just, uh, you know. You'll figure it out, son. Don't worry. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. Yeah, and congratulations too. This is so awesome. Thank you. Yeah. She's in theater. Oh. Well, not really. Anyways, this is so awesome. Yes. So good to meet you. I'm sure he liked her. <laughs> Seen candles light as mine like a balloon. <laughs> my grandpa has made it clear that if I want to secure my future, then I need to sever my links, negotiate a bit of a Grexit. <laughs> it has been a, a pleasure um, work doing business with you, and I've learned a lot. Doing business with you. Should have said the first thing that came to my mind, working for you. <laughs> he threatened to cut me off. It's up to you, kiddo. Uncle Fun. <laughs> or Grandpa Grumps. <laughs> when has Logan ever been fun? I made the second threat slash offer to Mr. Weissel, and he said no. Apparently there is no number. I think he has a backer. Could be anyone who has a grudge against Waystar. Get a phone book. <laughs> it's all likely to come out. Shadow logs, NDA, domino unraveling. Oh. Why is Shiv part of this conversation? I don't get it. It's gonna blow us wide open, sour any CEO announcement. The new face is gonna get ripped to shreds. When? Do we tell him? Do we tell him tonight? Anyone wanna end the night with a round of war on the floor? Big picture. <laughs> tell him tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah. If I had to tell him you made the call, would you still be happy with the call? How can she even make a call here? Excuse me? 
What the fuck is this? How do her calls mean anything? She still has no official position in this company. Or have I missed something? Here we are. Is he about to strip? I think he's going to masturbate on stage to a photo of dad. <laughs> Five star general, your best oh, no. salute. Yo, bitches be no. happy, but the king is just no. no. Rock no. Ken W.A. <laughs> I really <read it. laughs> it is burning my eyes. <laughs> it's burning in my ears. <laughs> no one can believe it. When I say L, you say O, G. L to the. O, G. Oh gee. Hail to the motherfucking OG. <laughs> I got you a present. We bought the hearts. Hearts football club? Mm -hmm. Why? It's your team. I'm Hibs. You're Hibs. <laughs> really? I thought you were hearts. I'm pretty sure, Dad. Maybe you're right. How would I know? What team I supported all my fucking life. How can I fucking possibly fucking know? <laughs> I'm going to announce tonight, in due course, I shall be appointing Ray Jarrell as my chief executive officer. Stable to fall. Why? What? This just does, doesn't make any sense to me. Why would he pick her? Mother would have hated all this and that trash you call news. I know she never would have approved of what you've become. Your meal ticket? Mm -hmm. I'm just surprised you're still standing. Any other man would have died from the shame. Oh, Do you change the record? This is your fault. This empire of shit. Time to pay up. Thanks you came, brother. Just to say what you've been saying since season one. <laughs>